At Highland Hill Farm, we work no matter what happens, whether it's rain, sleet, snow, or sunshine. Yesterday, it was almost up to 70 degrees, and we planted, I don't even know, I think like 650 trees. And we finished last night about 7.30, and it was pretty dark. Now, this morning, we wake up and it's snowing, but we didn't complete, complete backfilling around the trees, so since the ground is still warm from being 70 yesterday, I'm going back through and putting dirt around the trees to make sure the trees are at the right level and straighten them and things like that. Even though there's snow on the ground, the, the ground is still workable. So what we planted, this is a, a Zelkova, a green vase Zelkova, and uh, there's a really nice Japanese elm. They have a real nice branching structure that's in V shape so that you can put them as street trees. That's mostly what they were used for. This is not as big as some of the other varieties of elm, but it's still a good green vase shaped tree. Now coming over here, these guys here I haven't got to yet, but uh, this is called a uh, Yoshino cherry. Yoshino cherries is not as big as an elm or an oak or a maple. They get about 35, maybe 40 feet tall, depending on the circumstances that you're planting them in. They do like moist, well-drained soils, something that they, they do need. What's really nice about this Yoshino is that they have a real nice white flower. But they do leaf a little bit before they start to flower. They're not like the Okami where they flower first. Uh, these guys, when we put these in, I'll have to go back through and straighten them. And this one here probably will need a stake so we get a straight uh, stem to it. Uh, we'll probably go through and maybe trim just a little bit of the tips of them. Because Yoshino should be trimmed at time of planting, of bare root planting, but not planting when you're planting in your landscape. So this guy over here, this is also Yoshino. And the last thing we have in the field, this is a uh, forest pansy red bud. These red buds, each and every red bud will have to be staked, unfortunately. That's just the way that red buds are. You really can't grow a tree form red bud without staking it. And what we're going to do is we're going to let them, them leaf out. And they sometimes have die back when we plant them, so we'll cut it back wherever it dies off and go from there with it. These guys still also need to be healed in. They were tamped in, but we still have to put a little bit better around the soil with it. And we'll see how much we can get done before it gets too much snow on us. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. And if somebody has a question, how can they get a hold of you? You can call me on my cell phone. My cell phone number is 267-446-2376. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.